guys in today's video we're going to be showing you guys how to mount your garmin striker 4 4 plus or 4 to one of these boxes so some people don't have the garmin striker 4 bundle kit and for those people who don't this is a perfect video for you guys if you don't already have one of these built you can build it right now and you can pause the video when you need to so basically when you we're talking about the garmin striker um, it doesn't come with the bundle kit, it just comes with the unit itself. This piece and this piece for mounting, they both go like this. So this guy goes into this guy, and you can mount this anywhere. And the transducer, this is an open water transducer. Um, you could buy an ice fishing transducer, but they also work. So yeah. And I don't think the, um, Garmin Striker... Not the bundle kit, just the Garmin Striker comes with the transducer. Comment below, because I don't know. Because I have the Garmin Striker bundle kit. I'm just making this video for you guys to help out if you don't have one of the Garmin Striker bundle kits. And it's the transducer and no battery. That's what I'm pretty sure it comes with. And so basically, you can use any box. Um, for the boxes, I just have this toolbox. You can use one of those ammo boxes. I'll show a little picture of what I'm talking about right here. Or like those really, you know, battery boxes or whatever. Yeah, I'm just using this heavy duty um, toolbox. And for the battery, I'm using this um, 12, 12 volt, 7 amp hour battery. It's power, power your life long by that brand and yeah you could buy one of those expensive ones because those last longer so yeah and yeah so i'll try to link um the battery i mean the battery this battery the closest to this battery in the link description and the garmin striker in the link in the description i'll try to if i'm not then i'm not so um, let's get building. Next, you'll get your mounting piece. Put it wherever you want. I'm putting it on the left side. You can also put it here if you want. Yeah. So, I already, um, found out where the holes will be. Mine's gonna be here. Three holes, like that. And then, you probably will get three screws. Like this. Three. Yep. And then now we're just going to mount this piece right here. Just like that. So I'm just going to put three screws in. One's there. One's there. And then one will be right here. There you go. Now we will drill them into the box. Yeah. Um, basically it's mounted now. Um, right now we're just going to put this unit on and see how it looks. There you go. So yeah, that's how it looks. Pretty cool. So next, let's move on to the inside and mount the battery and then... Yeah, we'll be done. So, basically, now we have the foam down. So, the battery um won't, like, get damaged or moved around so much. So, yeah, the foam. You can use, like, gym mats, but I found this foam. We'll do for now. Um, um so, th the battery has to stay still. So you could um put like a divider, like a piece of wood here and here, or just like that. So now we're gonna run the cords. So basically, you'll get your um you'll get your um battery cord first. So basically, um this should come with the battery. If it doesn't, you can pick one up. I think on Amazon for a couple. 20 bucks or 15 I don't know because I didn't buy it come with the bundle kit but I'm doing it for you guys because some of you guys maybe have a Garmin Striker for 
or you know someone who doesn't have a girl like has a grim striker for but doesn't have the bundle kit and needs help finding something like this so, so you can build it easily for yourself that mounts like there and then this would just go here yeah and but you don't want to cut your cords when you close it so we're just going to drill a hole right here so the board um, um cords can run up and to the unit and same with the transducer one you um can put so yeah and when everything when you're um traveling you could um take off the garment put it here and then it won't get damaged it's foam and yeah it won't get hurt so yeah let's move on to the um making the hole here and then basically we're done so now we're done um uh, it just runs up here on the side of the unit and basically there's a hole here runs up goes down here close it and then put your unit back on done and then put your power cord here just like that and then you basically have that done just need your transducer and it, guys if you want like a stable transducer ducer build comment below because i'm pretty sure i can do one of those and then you get your transducer lined up there and there you go you can tr store all the cord um down here and then also have the transducer thing coming out from here if you want you just put that there have this running up here like this there you go then you got a transducer all the cord you need here store it away like that close that all the cords are gone you can't see it so it'll store it away nicely there you go and then pretty nice that is the build for you guys the handle if there's a handle keep it free so you can walk around punch holes different places and then there's that hole running up with all the cords um yeah comment below if you have any questions and you could store your tackle here or some other parts and same with where this guy is you can store all this some some things here but leave that like alone so you don't bother with the cords and then you're done please like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions and like the video ice fishing hopefully coming soon bye